This is Mark Mason in the Comics Waiting Room. I am here with comics veteran Marshall Dillon. Marshall, hello. How are you doing? Good. Uh, let's talk about what you're up to right now. You, of course, uh, have done a lot of things in comics. Uh, yeah. Tell us like some of the variety of roles you've played in the comics world. Oh, boy. Uh, I started off as a self-published writer. Um, then I, I transitioned into editorial at Devil's Due. Uh, left Devil's Due and did management editorial for a couple different companies, as well as lettering. Um, I've done a little bit of writing, a little bit of coloring. Pretty much everything except penciling I've done. I've, I've even done a little inking. So, what got you into comics to begin with? I grew up reading comics, uh, you know, X Men stuff, uh, Claremont, um, you know, all, all that that era of, of mid '90s or mid '80s stuff into the '90s. I just, you know, I loved it. And once you have that bug, you can't you can't get rid of it. So, was it difficult to break in? Uh, yes, I lost a lot of money. <laughs> you know, self publishing is a, is a big gamble, and that's where I started. It was the '90s, you know, and it was the big self publishing boom. And, the second boom, I guess. Um, and yeah, lost a lot of money, spent a lot of years in the trenches, and uh, you, know, you literally do have to pay your dues. So. Uh, these days, uh, I know, speaking personally, you uh, lettered a book for me. You lettered my comic book debut. You're doing a lot of lettering for Dynamite Entertainment yeah. these days. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Uh, I started Dynamite, um, was it probably two years ago? I think the first book I did was... Uh, it was a super superpowers Christmas special that Brandon Jerwa wrote, and um, it just kind of snowballed from there. You know, you do one book for a company, and then you do two books, and you get a monthly, and then you know a couple monthlies, and it's been it's been a good ride so far at Dynamite. Uh, they keep me pretty busy. There's a wide variety of books, a lot of different talent to work with, so it's it's pretty cool. And uh, you mentioned coloring. Are you doing any coloring right now? Are you thinking about getting back to it no, if you're not? Or um, coloring is a it's a discipline that's kind of hard to really get your brain around, and I've done some short stories at Boom and stuff like that, and uh, that's that's probably about it. I mean, I'll do some again, but it'll just be short stories. I'm not, I'm not that guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not a colorist. What do you What do you enjoy most, writing editorial or? Editorial is actually really fun. Um, the problem is that you're, that is the most compressed part of the whole thing. You're working on it. It seems like it's expanded because you're working on it from the first day to the last day. But all along, it's very intense. You have to push, you know, to get approvals. You have to push to get art in. You have to push, 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 and uh, it, it, it can be very hectic. But it can be very rewarding too because you're actually dealing with the artists and the writers, and you're having conversations. And there is a lot of gratification that comes from just being able to, to put a book together. So I, I enjoy that a lot. Um, the next thing I want to do though is more writing. I definitely want to do more writing. Uh, last year I put out uh, a short story through Double Feature Comics, it was called The Cursed Blade, and it was for their fantasy double feature. Uh, and that was really fulfilling, I got to work with some really great people, um, and that, that's what I want to do, I want to tell stories. As you go forward, are you, are you looking to do more self-publishing as a writer, or are you pitching companies, or what's your um, plan? I want to do a little bit of both. You know, I, I definitely want to put packages together, um, and whether that turns into a pitch or if it, if it becomes a webcomic or whatever it is, um, because I think that, uh, especially in this market today, you can't just pitch, you know, unless you're already in the door. If you're, if you're already working for Marvel, Marvel will listen to your pitches, you know, if you're if you're a new guy who, or a guy who's not in that circle, it's really hard to approach it that way. You have to put together a package and say, this is what I want to do, here's the guy I want to work with, you know, this is, this is our idea. You've got to really have something to show somebody. You mentioned you haven't penciled. Is that uh, for lack of desire or lack of uh, artistic <laughs> lack talent? Lack of ability, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, every kid wants to draw comics, and that's where I started. Um, but it quickly became, once I was starting to work in comics, it became clear very, very quickly that... Uh, there were enough people that could do that, and not enough people who could manage, edit, letter, put books together. And so that's that's where I focused because those were things that I could I could do very well. Excellent, Marshall. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today in the comics waiting room. Sure, not a problem.